right. Greetings, my fellow butcher blobs of subatomic building blocks. Names odds. Father of the plants. Porter of teal bricks. And as always, better zark for Legos. Alrighty then. In this video, we're going to talk about all the upgrades I've done to my double decker sightseeing bus. So just a quick recap and a little bit about the origin story. I did a video on this bus 11 months ago paired with the city bus and this is part two of my bus upgrades video. So a couple weeks ago I released the video for my city bus and then just recently this year I actually made an all new bus. That new bus inspired me to make upgrades to my three other buses that I already made a year ago. But this time the double decker bus gets its own video. So this is the second video out of four bus videos, and the fourth bus video is like the grand finale. It's an all-new bus and nobody's ever seen it before. All right, so double-decker bus. You may also recognize that this bus is actually the same bus that originated from set number 60200, the Capital City set. And actually that's where this blue car came from, but also came from the same set. Yeah. This got a major overhaul. It's got way more upgrades to it than I did with the city bus. This one, it got longer, it got a new windshield, it's got a whole new face, it's got a whole new back end, it's got a new set of stairs, and the interior has got some major upgrades as well. Alright, let's talk about the front. So, when I showed off this bus in the original video, it had a really ugly front. It was very flat, in fact it actually kind of stuck out right up here. It had more of a, kind of a caveman look to it, and then it had a very truck-like grill on it. And then up here was very like square, boxy looking. But this new windshield, this was an idea that I got from the brand new bus that's going to be in the fourth video. And I added it to my city bus, and I also added it to this bus. And it just makes the whole front of the bus just look so much sleeker. Alright, yeah, so the front bumper definitely got a little more rounded. The autonomous driving sensor, you know, with the, the radar and the LiDAR, cameras and 5G, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. It's all built right into this sensor right here on the front. Another thing I did was decided to copy the color stripes of the flame yellowish orange around here to the front of the bus. I got my trans neon yellow headlights, which glow under the UV light, which I love that. Now one thing to note is that I got rid of the digital sign up here at the very top, which basically said you're going to the museum. I don't mind, it doesn't bother me. I might just consider putting the sticker, taking the sticker off the tile and then just applying it directly to the top of this windscreen and just kind of make it look like the digital sign is built into the top of the windshield itself. Oh yeah, and just as a fresh reminder to all the people who are new to my channel, I'm building a LEGO City that's based in the future in the year 2060, and it has all kinds of futuristic stuff. So this is an electric bus, and it's got a ton of driving, and it can drive all by itself, doesn't even need a driver. It can even be remotely driven, it can park by itself, all that stuff. I got rid of the side view mirrors. Uh, I've been doing that to all my vehicles now. I used to keep the side view mirrors on there, but now I just get rid of them because it's futuristic and, and in the future they've got a digital instrument cluster and then there's going to be cameras along the side of the bus and basically they can see everything in their blind spot right there on the uh, digital touchscreen in the cab. The other thing I did was the door that I was originally using had the black frame with the two bars going through the middle of it. I decided to just change it to an all glass front door. Okay, the length of the bus. So between the two wheels it got longer by three studs and that was because the new bus that I made is much longer and then I also lengthened the city bus so it just made sense to lengthen this bus and I gotta say it looks way better now that it's longer. I don't think it looked stunted originally but um, now that it's gotten longer it just looks more proportionate. Okay and the other major upgrade was moving the stairs to the very back of the bus. Now if I recall correctly the original bus did not have stairs at all and then in my remock of it last year I added stairs behind the driver, but there wasn't enough room really. There was only two stud opening. And where the hole for the stairway popped up to the top, it was in an awkward place. And it really interrupted the layout of the seats, as well as kind of made things narrow for minifigures to walk around. So having the stairs here, and instead of the stairs running the length of the bus, it now runs across the width of the bus and then turns at the last minute up at the very top. And so that takes up way less space. You can see that now the stairs are three studs wide instead of the two studs wide that it used to be. And I actually got the idea because I've seen some UK double-decker buses where there are stairs at the very back of the bus that go up to the top. All right, and this bus got an all-new back section. So before it was all brick built with, uh, you know, studs on top and it did have a like a rear split window in the back. But now it's all built with studs facing to the side and this is just a big attachment right there. So I'll go ahead and take that off 
And those are my stairs. And the stairs even have lights. Yeah, so they can see as they're going through. Another thing about these stairs is that they are one brick oriented sideways. And this is going to be part of my new protocol now. I'm no longer going to make stairs that are one brick tall. That's always bugged me in the sense of proportionality. One brick is ginormous for a minifigure. And the fact that all the stair steps in LEGO sets are one brick tall, that actually set my protocol for all seating chairs or park benches or whatever. They all must be one brick off the ground as the standard default. But now I'm switching to this. So any mock that I've created where the stairs are one brick tall, I'm gonna be converting them so that they are one brick laying sideways. It'll definitely be harder to do. And that's something that LEGO actually did in the police station modular set in 2020. So I thought that was brilliant. I, I really liked it. And now I've decided to make it a permanent protocol of mine to have all my stairs and all my mocks, buildings and vehicles or whatever, so that they are uh, no more than one brick sideways. So yeah, I'm really liking how these stairs turned out. And it's really easy for minifigures to hop on and off and um, go on up to the stairs. I did consider having an opening for the stairs for people coming from the inside. It was a bit of a tight squeeze and it would have kind of gotten in the way of some of this other stuff inside of here. So I decided not to go for it. All right, and this side of the bus, this red panel used to be right here because that's where the stairs were previously. So now that there's no more stairs there, and this is all glass windows. Over here is the glowing green light for the battery charge indicator for when they charge the electric bus. All right, and looking up at the very top, it's a much cleaner layout. Yeah. So the stairs popped up right here. So there used to be a two stud wide cutout, which is not enough for minifigures to fit through. I just had to pretend that minifigures would kind of twist their shoulders sideways just to squeeze through, which was unrealistic, but it was something I just kind of had to accept. But now with the stairs over here coming up the back and they got a full three studs, in width and they can easily fit. And then the other thing too was that I had to dedicate stud of space for a railway so that uh, nobody could accidentally fall down the, the hole in the stairs. And so here there were no seats. There was a couple of seats up here and the position of these seats was difficult for minifigures to get to. And actually all the seats were on this side of the bus. So I actually got more seats in here. I, I think I got two more seats. And then back here, this last seat has a little bit of an armrest. And that's just because it's so close to the stairs right there for, for safety. So let's take a peek on the inside. And here's a better look at the stairs that are coming on up. So previously, the only thing that fit in here was these two sets of tables. So now I've got two sets of tables. I've also got a seat here sitting over the tire well. And then I've also got a seat here also sitting over the tire well. And this seat has a little miniature table right there. And before, back here was a small little condiment bar that had a little coffee maker. That now all got moved off to the side here. You can see I've actually got a couple of cabinets in there. There we go. And you can see there's a little refrigerated cabinet in there. There's a little drawer. Uh, we've got a bottle of wine. And there's a coffee maker. Here you can see this couple are enjoying some IPAs or maybe it's an amber. And the nice thing about these cabinets is that they're actually a part of the side of the bus. So you can see these one by three by two square sections. That's where the cabinets are. So they kind of fit really nicely. And then the, the countertop is only one stud wide. Very thin, um, but fits in the bus. And then up here in the front, once again, just like I said in the city bus, the only way to attach these windshields is up here at the very top. And so that was a little, this little build setup uh, shows that. I don't recall, but I think in the original video, this part used to be attached to this, but now it's, uh, it's completely separate. That is my open top double decker sightseeing bus. Yeah. So I'm loving the front windshield. Very futuristic, very sleek. Gives it a whole new look. Definitely gets rid of that flat, grumpy, grumpy looking face of a continuous glass now, instead of it being interrupted by the stairs. I love the new position for the stairs. So yeah, it's longer, got some more seats, new stairs. I'm loving it. And the next video coming up after this is gonna be on the all new school bus. And School Bus got some major upgrades too. And once again, the fourth bus video is the grand finale, all new bus. Super stoked to show you guys that. And like always, I'll catch you on the flip side.